to Choose Life. I am Pastor Gina Coleman. How are you doing on this beautiful morning? Every morning is a beautiful morning, whether the sun is shining or not. It's a beautiful day to wake up because the Lord woke you up. So how are you all today? I hope everyone is good because I am good. I'm usually pretty good every day um, because <clears throat> I decided like years ago that I was not going to ever have a bad day. I would have bad moments, but I would not give a whole day to the troubles that come my way, right? Because the Lord already said in the word, in this life, you will have trouble, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world, right? So he already told me that I would have trouble. So I don't believe that the Lord wants me upset every day um, when there's trouble <clears throat> in my life and or all day, right? So I just wanted to leave that with you, that you would decide that I'm going to have a great day in spite of trouble, in spite of things going crazy, in spite of how I feel, in spite of what the report is, I am going to have a good day because... Jesus is the Lord of my life and he has already worked some things out for me. Whatever we're facing today, the Lord has already worked it out. All right. So once again, I hope you are having a good morning. And if you woke up and you, you know, cause sometimes we wake up and the morning, like as soon as you put your feet on the floor, even before you just feel the attack of the enemy. But I'm telling you, you do not have to have a bad day. So if you woke up, that's what I was going to say. If you woke up feeling kind of weighted and um, and heavy, decide right now. I'm going to have a good day because God is in control of my life and everything that's coming my way, he can handle it and he will handle it. Amen. So God bless you. We are in April. Ooh, we are just moving along <clears throat> and I'm so... Um, grateful that you are with me. I've got some people um, that have said to me that they like that um, I invited other people along to speak and not do it all myself. And I, I think it's good when you can share your platform with other people, uh, whatever you have when you could share it with other people, because some people shared some things with me. So I'm going to just stop rambling and go ahead and get into the video. All right. So today's message over here in April, 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 April. Let me get it, y'all. April the 29th. It says, <clears throat> you don't have to respond. Let's just sit that there for a second. You don't have to respond. I, we don't have to respond. It says sometimes no response is the best response. When someone attacks you, <coughs> excuse me, when someone attacks you verbally, sometimes it is wise to remain silent. Sometimes you can explain with a soft answer and hope it turns into the person. <coughs> sometimes you can explain with a soft answer and hope that it turns away the person's wrath. But sometimes no response is the best response. Don't meditate on the negative. Turn to the father and pray for the person attacking you. It could be that he will return to you with an apology, <laughs> or it could be that he'll attack you more because he doesn't think the first attack got your attention. Either way, you've moved in the opposite spirit and the father is pleased. Don't respond to the attack unless I give you the words to say. In the meantime, stay prayed up. Wow, well, stay prayerful. Wow. So the Lord is saying, don't respond. Now, I know that many of us, especially myself, we could have used this word years ago <laughs> before we matured in Christ. And maybe even sometime now we respond when the Lord doesn't want us to respond. He said, don't respond. Now, that's going to take some maturing. That's going to take some obedience unto the Holy Spirit. That's going to really take some just humbling down like us to humble ourselves so that we will not respond when we're being attacked in the natural it's difficult to not retaliate or respond when somebody is, is attacking you but 
We are spiritual beings and the Holy Spirit said not to respond. And as a matter of fact, he said, you don't have to respond. Now, every time somebody does something negative to us or say something negative to us, we don't have to respond. We make a choice to respond. But he said, what you do um, is when somebody, <laughs> uh, this is kind of like difficult for us, maybe some of us. Um, he said, when somebody is attacking you, don't stay negative, meaning don't focus on the negative that they're doing. He said, but turn to the Father and pray for them. Now, for sure, that is going to take some growing up. Because just imagine somebody screaming and howling, cussing at you, and he said, don't respond. Go ahead and pray. Right? Because he said, when we do that, then we're right exactly uh, where the Lord wants us to be. Not being negative, not responding to the negativity of the other person or the attack of the other person and he said this pleases the father now for sure that's what you and i want to do we want to please the father in some ways that god um has laid out for us to please him it's it's a, a breaking of our flesh right so for me or you not to respond to what somebody is doing to us is it's a breaking of our flesh and for sure no matter where we are in our walk, whether we've been saved 10 years or 40 years, we still need this flesh broken. Because if we don't discipline this flesh, the flesh is definitely going to do whatever it is it wants to do. So the Holy Spirit says, don't respond. But he didn't just say, don't respond. He said, don't respond, and but turn to the Father and pray for the person. If you've ever really, 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 truly prayed for somebody that was hurting um, you or doing some damage to you, you begin to feel some sorrow or some sadness inside because they have no idea, not necessarily what they're doing to you, but what they're doing to God by attacking you and I'm sure at some point somebody had to do that for you and I not respond but go and pray for us right I'm sorry y'all I had to stop recording I had a couple of distractions but I'm back and um, I'm gonna continue so the Lord is saying unto us just do not respond um, because when we respond if you just think about it for a moment when you responded to someone that was attacking you um, it just went crazy right it just it uh, escalated and the Holy Spirit wants us not to respond so that the arguments or the attacks could, uh, uh, you know, just dissolve. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so he said, don't, don't respond. Just do not respond. And like I said, it's going to take help from him not to respond. Um, some of you all may be like really good at this, but some of us are still working. I do know like many, many, many years ago, I responded to any and everything <laughs> anyone said unto me except for my parents but if anyone else said anything to me I responded and um this is scripture that talks about um don't answer fool according to his folly and then there's another one that says answer a fool according to his folly and so God gives us instruction if someone's atta attacking you don't become like that person don't just get into an agreement just you know quiet yourself down and then it says answer a fool according to his folly and so it's saying just like Look at them and see that they're attacking you, but you don't have to attack back, right? You don't have to attack back. So that's what the Lord is saying unto us. Don't respond. Wait until he tells us what to say. He said, but in the meantime, until he tells us what to say, stay prayerful. Stay prayerful. This, this can be something that we pray daily that the Lord will help us to respond correctly and not um, open our mouths um, faster than we should. <laughs> and respond right if we're always responding to everything that everyone says then then, then we need to mature a little yeah we do all right so i'm just going to go ahead and get into the uh scriptures and the first scripture for today is matthew 26 and 63 it says the high priest said to him he's talking to jesus he said i charge you under the oath by the living god tell us if you are the um Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. So the high priest was trying to command Jesus to speak. And even though in verse um, 64, Jesus did speak, there will be some times when um, some people will agitate you and try to get you to respond to what they're saying. And the Holy Spirit said, don't. Don't do it. And, when, and he also said, when we respond, wait for him to tell us how to respond. So Jesus, he knew how to respond to everyone that was attacking him. It's us that have the problem. So the high priest was, he said, I charge you. 
to tell me like so he was like demanding Jesus to tell him but Jesus did answer but when he answered he answered the right way you know because if that was us we would have said who you think you talked to <laughs> mess the whole plan of salvation up <laughs> right so the next scripture is Mark uh, 14 and 61 so the Lord really wants to teach us how to respond right and really you know really God is just really really I think I said this in my video yesterday God is really shaping us to the people that he wants us to be God is really cool calm and um, collected and in him um, he's slow to anger and he's not into just like chopping people down and so he doesn't want us to be like that he wants us to be like him and have his character right so what did I say? I said, Mark, <laughs> see when I start talking, I lose scripture, Mark 14 and 61. Mark 14 and 61. It says, here I go. It says, again, the high priest asked him, are you the Messiah, the son of the blessed one? So the high priest was just kept, um, just coming after Jesus, trying to get him to say stuff. And so you have to take note and I have to take note that sometimes people, you know, in authority, they will try to egg you. They will, I mean, agitate you. They will try to get you to speak and to respond. Right. But the Holy Spirit said, you don't have to respond. That means we have a choice to respond or not to respond, right? Hallelujah. And we're going to choose as we choose life not to respond to everything. I'm telling you, I have messed up and, and said way too much out of my mouth in the past. And probably even now, maybe the only the Lord truly knows because I responded when I should have just waited and not said anything. But I also can say I have seen uh, great results when I waited on the Holy Spirit where I just didn't say anything uh, regarding the situation. I just handled it um, as far as inside and then I took it to the Lord and I didn't say anything and it came out much, much better because the Lord wants to work on the other person's heart and he wants to work on my heart and your heart so that we can um, not have strife. You know, the Lord cannot stand discord among the brethren. He can't stand when, we, when there's strife and envy and jealousy he cannot he doesn't like it so um he wants us all to be quiet and wait for him to tell us how to respond all right yes 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 so the next scripture is first peter three and nine first peter three and nine so first peter three and nine says do not repay evil with evil <laughs> or insult with insult on the contrary repay evil with blessings or good because to this you were called so that you may inherit the blessing. So the Lord is saying, listen, I don't want you to retaliate. I don't want you to pay people back. When you re when you and I respond under the attack of other people, we're just giving them the same thing that they're giving unto us. He said, but don't do that. Don't repay um, evil um, for evil. He said, repay evil with good. Um, and I think in the King James it says, don't, uh, don't, it says overcome evil with good. So do the right thing. Even though your flesh is crying out like, do the wrong thing. <laughs> your spirit is saying, do the right thing. And just turn unto the Lord and pray for the person so that you can please the Lord. It says here, it says, on the contrary, repay evil with blessings or with good. Do something good to someone that is um, mistreating you. I remember some years ago, I had made this mistake with this uh, leader um, the pastor had told me to do something and I made the mistake and forgot to do what the pastor told me to do. Now the pastor was fine with what, what I was going to do, but I forgot what he told me to do, to do the thing that he told me to do with, to the leader, right? Well, that leader was eating my head up and I think I was just coming to the place, coming out of, I'm just going to go crazy on you, right? This is way before I became a pastor. <laughs> And that person just would not accept my apology. It seemed like they just wanted to argue. So I got myself ready. I said, okay, I've been trying to apologize. I have apologized. You don't want to accept it. So let's argue. And I just let it go. <laughs> Needless to say, that was not a good idea because I wasn't wrong. There was no need for me to get crazy because I, you were not my leader. Well, they were my leader, but... The pastor had told me something, just, just remember to do this. And I didn't. Now, the pastor wasn't upset that I forgot to do the thing. But anyway, so the Lord told me um, to buy the person a gift. And I don't think it was that difficult. Um, I didn't say, what, Jesus? Because he didn't want me to repay evil to the person. So not only did I buy one gift, I bought two gifts. 
because it was easy. I wasn't really never angry with the person. They had the issue with me because I didn't do what the pastor told me to do, but the pastor wasn't angry. <laughs> so it was a bunch of craziness, right? But I could have, I mean, I did argue, but I could have just ignored God and said, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to just say something to the person and I'm going to repay evil. But I did what the Lord said. He said, overcome evil with good. And I did. I mean, that person were friends to this day because I did what the Lord said to him, right? Now, back in the day, it was not so easy for me. But as you mature, you, you learn to walk closer to the Lord and you learn um, that you really want to do what pleases the Lord. The, script, uh, the message said today about when we are, are silent and don't say anything and we turn to the Lord and pray, it pleases God. It pleases God. So that's, that's our heart's desire. Above all things that we go through and, and in this life, our heart's desire should be to please the Lord, right? So that's the last scripture for the day. So I'm going to just go ahead and pray. And before I do, it says that we are to uh, be prayerful. So even, even um, as we leave this video, we already know that the enemy comes and he tries us. So decide now, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to be nasty. I'm not going to cut them off because that's awful too. I'm just not going to respond. I might have to, you, because sometimes we have to, might have to say to the person, let me get back with you on that. I, I need a minute, right? So Father, we love you and we thank you that you are teaching us your character. Every day that we receive a word from you, you are teaching us your character on how to behave as kingdom citizens in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I just pray for every viewer this morning, including myself, Lord Jesus, that we would not respond and that we would do what you told us to do. God, I thank you so much that you always tell us not to do, but then you always tell us what to do. I give you praise, God, that you told us not to respond, but you told us to pray, Lord God, that we would please you, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I know that every viewer watching want to please your heart. So, Lord, I ask for more grace, God, in the name of Jesus. Even, Father, help them be aware, and even myself, to be aware of the tricks and the traps that the enemy has set before us today, Lord God, that we would respond and not be the godly sons and daughters that you want us to be lord god and that we would miss i pray that we would not miss the holy spirit when he's telling us not to respond and that we would hear exactly what he's telling us to do god so that we can stay in right standing with you father in the name of jesus so lord we love you we praise you we magnify you god we ask you lord to direct our day and our footsteps in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you amen so one more time you and I don't have to respond. We do not have to be baited into the foolishness of Satan. All right, God bless you. See you all in another video.